Native Instruments Complete Library is absolutely huge. So you wanna know how to install the complete libraries on an external hard drive. It's actually surprisingly easy. You've just got to know where to look. Step one, launch Native Access. So it's in here that you can set up where all of the libraries install to. These big numbers here, the majority of that can be stored elsewhere. Check this out. What we need to do is go up to Native Access, go into our preferences. And in our preferences here, we can set some different things. The download location. So this is just a temporary location. I just stick this in the temp download folder. Mac's really good at managing it and deleting them afterwards anyway. So it just sits in there and uh, it gets erased once it's installed. Then we've got the application location. I recommend leaving this alone unless you have set up your DAW to search a specific location every single time. Otherwise, keep it as the default. It's where everything goes so it can look at it, find a bit of software. And then this last one, the content location, is the one we want to set up. So you can see mine says volume, lacy, sample libraries. If we click on browse, we can choose where we want that to go. So down here on the side, I've got my external drives, main iMac, Macintosh hard drive, and then these two lacy drives, which are both six terabyte. Here on the one just called lacy, I have a sample libraries and a sample archive. If I click on sample libraries, this is where all those libraries go. So I just choose this folder right here. And as you can see, it's organized with all the sample libraries right in there and it runs off of that drive. So your download location can be anything. I recommend just using a download folder because you're gonna get rid of the installers afterwards. Application location, unless you've set everything to be a specific location, leave it as default. And then the content location is where you can choose that external hard drive to put all of the content inside in. We hit save and now when we go to something that needs to be installed like we could go here and do a update by like putting project haze in it put that 1.1 probably gigabytes on the external drive right there for us. I hope that's been helpful and answered your questions. Do give me a shout in the comments if there was anything else. Take care.